Welcome to this tutorial teaching how to put your own skin on VRCraft. The process is really simple and I will teach you how to do step by step. But before that, if you want to install VRCraft on your custom avatar, you can check the video on the screen or in the description below. And if you want to put custom capes, you can also click on the screen or on the description below. Now, let's start the tutorial. The first step is to install VRC Fury. VRC Fury is a great tool that helps a lot when you're installing assets in another avatar. So, let's install it. Go to the site vrcfury.com slash download. You can follow this link on the description down below too. And then click here to add VRC Fury to VRChat Creator Companion. Click here again. And you'll notice that your chat creator companion will pop up. You need to click on I understand add repository. Perfect. Now we need to add the VRC Fury onto your project. Click on projects and then go to manage projects. And here you need to click on VRC Fury, click on the plus. Wait a little bit and it's installed. Perfect. Now let's go back to your project. You can see it will load a little bit. And now we need to import the VRCraft unit package. To do this, get the unit package, just uh, drag and drop into the project. And click import all. Go to underline DX, VRCraft, and you can see VRCraft avatar. And you found this scene. And if you want to disable all these icons on the screen, just click right here and you can see all the icons disappear. It's more easy to navigate this way. Now we need to extract your skin and for that we're gonna use this site namemc.com. It's a really simple site that you can literally type your name right here. In my case dx underline 30. Search for your account. In my case this is this one. And you can see all the skins I have on my avatar. In my case I want this one here. Okay, and click here and save your skin. Don't forget to put a name. And now we need to edit your skin. But the X, I already have my skin the way I want. Why I need to edit my skin? Good question. We need to do this because VRCraft has support for blinking and mouth movement. Yes, so every time you talk, you can see a little mouth movement. But for that to work, we need to edit a little bit of the skin. It's not that hard. Trust me, to do that we need a program that can edit photos like Photoshop, GIMP or in our case pixelart.com is a really good program, it's online, it's free, available for everyone. So we're gonna use this one, but if you wanna follow along on GIMP or Photoshop, it's really straightforward, we probably can do the same thing. So let's start clicking on start drawing. Okay, just click continue and now we need to import the guides. To do this on pixelart.com, click on file and open photo. Search for the guide files that you can download in the same place you download VRCraft and click to open. Click OK. Now that you have the guides, you can notice that this photo has four sectors. The default, blink, speak and speak blink. We need to position our skin on these four sectors. But first, we need to import our skin. Click on File, Import Photo, and now search for a skin that we downloaded. Click Open. Perfect. Now we need to move to this corner. Click on this arrow, click and move to the corner. Perfect. And now we need to copy to the four sectors. To do this, click on the Selection tool. Select and click Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste it and then put on here and then let's paste again. So Ctrl V, position your skin right here and then we need to position here. So Ctrl V again and position your skin right here. Perfect. Take care to not put your skin like this because we're invading the other sectors, okay? So make sure it's here, like don't invade any sectors, okay? Perfect. Now, to make things more organized, let's put the guides on top of the layer. So click here and put up. Now we can just 
switch to make it easier, okay? Add a new layer. In this program, we need to click on the plus to make things easier for us and then move it below the background. Now let's start adding it. The default is the default scheme we already have. Now let's start with the blank. Uh, you can notice that blank goes here and here. So let's start in the sectors. Let's come here and make I blank. So we're gonna get this color and make like the character kind of blink. So do not make have this color, let's make get this this color, a little bit of variance. Okay. Something like this. Yeah, it looks similar, but it's fine. So let's make it blink. So I mean I think this will look cool. Perfect. Copy this copy this and copy this and put it here you can see that is blinking now but don't forget this is not the only sector that need to blink if you enable the guides again you can see blink is here and is here so let's copy these layers to the bottom so use the selection tool select and copy go to the bottom and paste it and position the eyelashes on the correct spot perfect now we need to make the mouth move. Open the guides, you can notice that this is have the mouth move and this also have the mouth move. So let's do that. Disable the guides and selecting the layer, the new layer that we added, let's make the mouth. For this time, we're gonna choose a color. For me, I'm gonna put it some like radish. This is good for me, click on the pencil and this is too bright, let me adjust a little bit the color. Okay, uh, this is good for me. And this is just two pixels, I'm gonna paste here. So it's done. This is everything we need to do in our skins. You can see it one more time. Enable the guys. Default, blink, speak, and blink and speaking. Perfect. So blink, speaking, blink and speaking. Perfect. Don't forget to click file and export because we need this skin, okay? Download PNG and you're gonna save as DX underline VR craft. Now the skin is done. We just need to drop into the Unit project. So let's open the Unit project and for organization purpose, go to assets, DX, and VRCraft, and let's drop our skin right here. So I have the in this folder, click and drop right here. Perfect. Also, don't forget, we need to convert this for quest. And in this new version, we have a little tool to help you. Just click on DX, VRCraft, and quest texture converter. It's a really useful tool that you just need to drop your skin right here and click combine and save. Combine texture has saved too. Perfect! You can see that this already fixed all the configurations of the skin and also automatically generate your quest skin. The last step you need to do is to put the skin on your avatar. Okay, just need to close here select the skin, just double click so you can see this orange outline and drop here on this tab and you can see the skin right here so just drop the PC version right here and go to the quest and make the same thing double click and you can see the orange outline expand this and drop the quest version right here you can see it's working but there is one more step you need to do. You can notice that this skin, the original version that we did, has four pixel arms. And this one that you're seeing it, it has three pixel arms. But you can rest assured, VRCraft has support for both type of arms. Just click on the arm and you can see it when it's orange outline, it's here, three pixel arms. So just disable that, you can see now it's four, but don't forget to make the same thing for the PC version too. So double click and move 
over left. And perfect! You installed correctly your skin on Veercraft. The last step is just upload your Minecraft avatar. For that, go to VRChat SDK, show control panel, log in with your account, go to Builder, and make sure to disable the Quest version first, so we can upload the PC version. So disable this, and let's upload the PC first. VRChat SDK, put a name, in my case, VRCraft DX. Okay, and we need to take a a photo, so I'm capturing from the scene. Make here. <laughs> Perfect. Capture. And we just need to click this checkbox and upload our avatar. It's already uploaded. Now we need to upload for Quest 2. So click here on Windows and go to Android. Let's convert this to Android and click Confirm. And now we need to upload the Quest version. And for that, we need to pass the PC ID to the Quest. To do this, select the PC, click here on the inspector, search for Pipeline Manager and copy this ID right here. Select it, Control C, and then we can disable the PC version. Go to Quest, click here, and then paste it right here, Pipeline Manager, Click Ctrl V and attach. Perfect. But the X, this means the build system and the menu is compatible with Quest? No. Only the PC version has the menu system and the build system. On Quest, the only thing available is the avatar and the layer toggling. But it's always good to upload the Quest avatar so people on Quest can see you. Okay? So let's upload this. Go to VRChat SDK, and if you see a warning right here, you can see default texture format on the right. Pa, 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 pa. We need to click auto fix this because we create a new texture, and this is warning us that we need to convert the texture to the right format. So just click auto fix, and it's perfect. You just need to upload your avatar. Now Everything it's done! You have a Minecraft skin on your account that you can use with your friends. And if you wanna add custom capes or edit your own cape, it's also an option for that. You can see the video on the screen and also on the description below that will teach you how to do that. Also, if you wanna put VRCraft on your custom avatar, you can see this video on the screen and on the description below. Just click there that you see a tutorial teaching how to do that. And of course, if you don't own VRCraft, you can also click on the screen and on the description below to get your own copy of the VRCraft, a really cool build system that you can build with our friends together. And also have fun with the sword, the snowball, the potion, the biff. Yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Bye bye.